keep that in right here. Okay. The patient sits. And what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to bend his elbow like this. I'm going to hold up the elbow here. I'm going to have him turn his head. I'm going to find the lateral one third of the clavicle. I'm going to put either, depending on the size of me and the patient, I can use a index kind of web contact on the lateral portion of the clavicle, one third of the clavicle. You can see where my elbow is. And I can stand here. And as I raise his arm up in this direction, here, when I break the 90, I impulse. S to odd. Or, you could use a hypothenoid, depending on the size of the person, in your hand, and do the same thing in impulse. Wait, what was the first contact? A phenol? First one is a web contact. Oh, index okay. web type contact here. Most of it's over here. Okay. You just wrap it around the whole shoulder. Okay. The other one is a hypothenoid. So if the person had a big neck? So I, well, no, I think if they have a, you maybe have a smaller hands, it's a bigger person, you want a little bit broader contact, you know, it's a hypothenoid. Okay. Yeah. Does we raise the arm 90 degree or yeah. there's a distraction? Yeah. here. So again, you, you raise your arm to 90 degrees, or once you kind of break the 90, the impulse. <coughs> you can so even have I the patient slightly lean a little bit away, slightly <gasps> from the, in the impulse. But it's S to I? It's S to I. Yeah. You can also, again, depending on the size of the doctor, the patient, if you've got a patient with huge arms, and you're a small little person, you can put your foot here, mm -hmm. right? Come here, raise up this way. An impulse. Not right. trying to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's another little trick here. Impulse. Try those.